fundamentally the relationship between Chris and his father is, I think, one of utter love and respect. He idolises his father. His father is, is a hero to him. From Joe's point of view, every part of his life is geared towards leaving the business to Chris. All right, all right, all right, forget it, forget it. I'm gonna make a clean start for you, Chris. I'm gonna put a new sign up the plant, uh, at the plant. Uh, Christopher Keller Incorporated. J.O. Yeah. Keller is good enough. Yeah, we'll talk about it. I'm gonna build a house for you, Chris. Chris is an idealist. Yeah. You know, he's, he's got huge ideals, and he's had an experience in the war which, uh, mm. which has made him uh, understand something bigger than what uh, Joe's belief is. His, 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 um, his, his, his beliefs are about family and that's all. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how you make money, it doesn't matter what you do, as long as you support your family. But there's an enormous amount of affection that they have for each other. Uh, and more it's about a love. It's right, it's about love and it's about the disillusionment of that, of that love. That's the, the arc of the play or the arc of their relationship. Mm -hmm. He has to be let down big time by his father. Mm -hmm. And the whole of the play Joe is trying to preserve that relationship. His sense of identity, uh, Joe's, is bound up in Chris's adulation of him. It's got to be like that. Larry, he always had Annie. And I think that he, the golden boy that he was, uh, Chris from afar, being five years older, would always go, gosh, she is lovely. I really, I love her. I fancy her. <laughs> I love her too. That girl is Larry's girl. No, she's not Larry's girl. From her point of view, she is. And if you marry that girl, you're pronouncing him dead. I love you a great deal. <laughs> they haven't seen each other for five years before Chris went to war. They've been writing to each other for two years. In those two years, I think the letters have got a little bit more, a little fruitier, a little bit fruity. Uh, and then he invites her to come, and that's when the play starts. Chris kicks off the play by in inviting Annie to come and stay. The charisma, the yeah, personality, yeah. the, the leader of men, leader. I mean, um, yeah. is definitely passed on to yeah, Chris. Yeah. And that's why in the war he, he, he was a, a perfect choice. You remember overseas I was in command of a company? Yeah, sure. Well, I lost them. Well, how many? Just about all. Oh, gee. It takes a little time to toss that up. They weren't just men. Somebody says everybody always does something for the cows. Yeah. They're like the, 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 you know, holy the, the god. The god. You know, there is a family that's in every street that everybody loves to go into their backyard. Yeah. In the play, I mean, Miller was a member of the Communist Party. Yeah. There was, you know, that sense of new idealism going, going, coming on just after the war that there was going to be a better, bigger society, mm -hmm. uh, which wasn't. So it was, it was a little bit of Miller coming in there as well. So it's quite interesting because he asked to bring in before we started rehearsal two bits, two bits of music. One, um, one, a dance piece from from the, the period, so from the 1940s, and the other piece was something that summed up the play f for us individually. Well, well, mine was, was it never we, entered my mind, yeah. which is uh, 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 a, a jazz, jazz piece Miles of jazz, Davis. Miles Davis. He's got the whole world in his hands. Yeah. And it's, you know, it's about, you know, it's about big men. It's about how he perceives himself as this giant. I brought a song called uh, Smile by uh, Nat King Cole. Yeah, smile though um, your heart is aching. And uh, I, I was from there, it's from 947, I think it was in the charts in 947. And uh, the reason I fake that because the lyrics are all about um, just putting on a public face despite um, inside you are in pain or misery or whatever. If it ain't on the page, it ain't on the stage. <laughs> it's got to come from the page, yeah. I believe. I don't yeah, know yeah. you're the same. If it's, it's all in the text. It is. He's, Miller's incredible. There's no assumption. It, the clues there. are all there yeah. to, to, to piece together some, yeah. some pretty solid backstory. But yeah. factually as well, just a timeline of when these events happen in the past. All the events that I talked about the timeline makes absolute, yeah. uh, perfect sense in terms of yeah, the, the, the years that pass. And he, he doesn't, he, he's pretty <laughs> perfect with it. Mm.